What, does, what is the meaning of the word aparushya? We will ask Gandharvika Radharani. Oh, Ch is it Chandravali? Is it Chandravali Radharani? No, Gandharvika Radharani. Is she there today? Gandharvika Radharani Maharaji? No answer. What about Madhu Tosi Mataji? Madhuri Tosi Devi Dasi. Yeah. Apurusheya. Yes, what's the meaning of that word, Apurusheya? Uh, not delivered by any mundane person. Not what? Delivered by any mundane person. Yes, what is not delivered by any mundane person? Uh, the transcendental knowledge. Yes, the scriptures, right? The transcendental knowledge. So, can you give an example? What is Aparushya? My Gita, Bhagavad Gita. Yes. And the, what else? The Vedas, right? Yeah, Vedas. The Vedas. They're not delivered by any mundane person. So, they're perfect. Perfect means no mistakes, no defects. Somebody else, ordinary man, writes a book, what's the problem? If the ordinary man writes a book, will it be perfect? Will the knowledge all be correct? They have four defects. Yeah, they have four defects, right. Do you know them? Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, subjected to illusion. Yeah. Um, propensity to cheat to uh, to cheat others. Uh huh. Senses are imperfect. Uh huh. Uh, tendency uh, to commit mistakes. Very good. Yeah. Very very good. Excellent. You've learned mm -hmm. everything very nicely. Yeah. Ordinary people, they will make mistakes. They will write their books but after some time we'll find out oh it was all wrong everything's wrong but Bhagavad Gita has been the same for thousands of years of course people come and they all give their own interpretation of the Bhagavad Gita that's the problem they don't take the Gita in the proper manner if they take it through the disciplic succession then it's perfect. But if they go without the disciplic succession, then they give their own ideas. That is called speculation. There are two processes of knowledge, Krishna Premi Devi Dasi. Do you remember two processes of knowledge? Hare Krishna. <coughs> there are two ways we get knowledge. Yes, from um, from two ways of getting knowledge is from ascending or descending. Yes, right. The ascending or the descending. So, what speculation? Which way is that? Uh, Descending is much easier it's because we get knowledge from those, uh, uh, from Parampara, from our Guru Maharaj, from our uh, senior disciples, yes. the devotees. Yes, very good. Yeah. And, and what about speculation? What, is that, what, what process is that? Mm. Is that ascending um, or descending? It's a descending. Speculation? And speculation is ascending. Yes. Because we speculate. Right. Speculation is the ascending process, right? They're trying to understand everything by their own limited mind and senses. So they make mistakes. They cannot expect to get perfect knowledge. 
by speculation. Okay, very good. Yes. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay, so we're going to go on today. Let's see, we're on mantra four. I'll put it onto the screen. Oh, can, I, can everyone see the mantra? Or have you got your own book? Yes, Maharaj, we can see the mantra and also we have the book. Okay, so we'll chant the mantra first. Maybe you would like to chant the mantra first for us, Prabhu? And we will repeat, okay, we will repeat after you each line. Anichat ekam manaso jabiyo. Anichat ekam manaso jabiyo. Nay nadevam Tadavatonyam ateti stat Tasmin apomata riswadadati Tasmin apomata riswadadati Okay, can you read the translation for us? Yes, Maharaj. Although fixed in his sorry, although fixed in his abode, the personality of Godhead Hold on, Maharaj. Although fixed in his abode, the personality of Godhead is swifter than the mind and can overcome all others running. The powerful demigods cannot approach him. Although in one place, he controls those who supply the air and rain, he surpasses all in excellence. Okay. So, you can see that the topic is changing a little bit from the first three verses. The first verse was describing Krishna as the supreme proprietor and we, that we should take our quota. And then the second verse was describing when we do it, we get good results. And the third verse describes when we don't do it, we get bad results. Now we're going to talk about, we're going to hear about Krishna and his abode and his qualities, his relationship with the material world. Okay, so we'll hear from Prabhupada's purport. Uh, let me ask someone to read that. Maybe we can have uh, Kundalata Mataji, Kundalata Radha Mataji. Can you read? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Through mental speculation, even the greatest philosopher cannot know the Supreme Law, who is the absolute personality of God. He can be known only by his devotee through his mercy. In the Brahma Samhita 5.34, it is stated that even if a non-devotee philosopher travels through space at the speed of the wind or the mind of the hundred of million of years, he will still find that the absolute truth is far, far away from him. The Brahma Samhita 5.37 further describes that the absolute personality of God is as his transcendental abode, known as a Goloka, where his remain and engage his pastime, yet by his <laughs> potencies, he can simultaneously reach every part of his creative energy. In the Vishnu Purana, his poten potencies are compared to the heat and light that emanate from a fire. Although situated in one place, a fire can distribute its light and heat for some distance. Similarly, the actual personality of God, although fixed in his transcendental abode, can diffuse his 
different energies everywhere. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so Srila Prabhupada is describing about the Lord and how the mental speculators cannot know Him. Even the greatest philosopher, he's also a speculator. So he also cannot know the Supreme Lord because, Prabhupada said, he can only be known by his devotees through, through his mercy, through Krishna's mercy. So we need to get Krishna's mercy to know him. We cannot know him just simply by our own efforts. And Prabhupada quotes from the Brahma Samhita, said, even you travel at the speed of the wind or the mind, just think, just think how fast the mind can travel. Right now we're sitting here and if we think of Los Angeles, it's so far away on the other side of the planet, but immediately in the mind, in one moment we can be there. So Brahma Samhita said, even if you travel at the speed of the mind for hundreds of millions of years, still we will find the Absolute Truth far, far away. So, oh my goodness, and very hard. Certainly, non-devotees can never actually know Krishna, but he can be known by his devotees. So that is the point, that's the power of devotion. Then Prabhupada describes, he has his abode, Goloka, right? We're living in this, this, this earth planet, in the material world, but Krishna, he has his own place in the, in the spiritual world. And in the spiritual world, the topmost planet is called Goloka. And Krishna stays there and he is engaging in his pastimes. He has his different friends there, he has the gopis, he has the cowherd boys, he has his mother and father. So he's having a wonderful time there and everyone's enjoying there. But at the same time, Krishna has inconceivable potencies. Inconceivable potency, it means we cannot begin to imagine how powerful he is because he can simultaneously reach every part of the creation. So then Prabhupada quotes the scriptures again. You can see how Prabhupada is not speculating. He is supporting everything he says with evidence from the scriptures. In the, in the beginning he was quoting from Brahma Samhita and now he's quoting from Vishnu Purana. And he says there, compared to the heat and light that come from a fire. The fire is in one place but the heat and light is some distance away. In the same way, Krishna is in Goloka but his transcendental energies, his energies are everywhere. Okay, we want someone else to read next part. Who do, do we have Krishna Braja Sundar here today? Is he here? What about Kripa Murti Goranga? I think no Maharaj. Oh, they're not coming for classes, huh? What about, what about Rasika Radha Krishna? No? Rasika Radha Krishna, no? What about Suri Linga? Chaitanya. Oh, 
Okay. What about Taruni Champakalata? Is she there today? No? <laughs> Hare Krishna Maharaj, uh, Suri Narayan Prabhu is here Maharaj. Suri Narayan, okay. Suri Narayan Chaitanya Das, yeah? Suri Narayan, yeah. Would you like to read for us, Prabhu? Although his energies are innumerable. Sorry, Narayan Prabhu, you can unmute your mic and uh, read Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Okay, so I'm back. Thank you Maharaj. Are we able Sorry, to... Prabhu. Yeah, are we able to go ahead with the reading? Yes Maharaj, please Maharaj. Okay Prabhu, so who was reading for us? Everyone can see? Yes, Maharaj, we can see very okay. clearly, Maharaj. Okay, so although his energies are innumerable, who was reading for us? Suryanga Prabhu was reading just now. Suryanga Prabhu, you can unmute your mic and continue reading, Prabhu. The 